contemplating the golden striker. This giant piece of abstract art is a work in progress. When it's finished, it'll form the centerpiece of William Tillier's latest exhibition. The painting here is it's roughly 30 feet by nine and a half, ten feet. And it's on five panels of uh, open mesh. And, and, and like the small aluminium paintings, I'm working behind the painting, essentially, pushing paint through. So it has a, a, a physicality for me. It's a very unorthodox way of painting, isn't it? Because you can't actually see what you're doing until you pop your head around the front and have a look at it. Well, I have to keep dancing around behind and the front, checking what the paint's doing. His art is influenced by industrial Teesside and the neighbouring North Yorkshire countryside, and he has a particular fascination with the River Esk. So what is it about this spot that inspires you so much? Well, it's definitely the landscape, but having this particular bridge, which I, I think is uh, rather charismatic, it's got quite a lot of geometry about it. The geometry, the engineering, in contrast to the organic growth we're surrounded by, I, I find exciting. Those two worlds. It's a combination which I try to use in my painting. And somehow this bridge in this landscape, because it's a landscape I've grown up with most of my life, uh, you know, clicks something for me. From the moors to Mayfair, the finished paintings are now hanging at Bernard Jacobson Gallery. The bridge we were on quite recently. I've continued to use the bridge image as a motif for all of these sort of metre square paintings. The exhibition is a celebration of Tillia the artist, who, despite a distinguished career over six decades, is yet to achieve the fame many believe he deserves. I actually have singled him out, in my opinion, as the best painter we produced since John Constable. He hasn't been given any recognition that I say David Hockney or Damien Hirst have been given. He's not a socialite, he's not that type of person, he's a very private person, tucked away in, in the English landscape, making great art. So is this your best work, William? Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, 80 is kind of momentous, but uh, I think I, I, I probably am realising what I'm all about in old age. Uh, you know, it does take a lifetime, really. The exhibition runs until the 24th of November. Sharon Saga, BBC Look North, London.